and today well i think most of the most of february we did um alcohol so we thought we'd just transfer it into march indeed um so today we're, we're trying what well i, I don't really I've know i'm looking forward to this though, have because you we, because we've had it for a while we brought this one back from italy with us uh in september but I remember many years ago, it's got to be mid noughties, mm -hmm. back when the Richard and Judy show was on. Yeah. That they sampled olive oil, just pure olive oil. Yeah. And it made Judy very. I think they had to whip to a commercial break because she. she right. To be fair, and that's 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 the kind of feelings I'm getting that this may give us. <laughs> this is not olive oil. No, I know it's not, but it's olive liqueur. It is. This is an olive liqueur from Lake Garda. Yes, so we, we went to Lake Garda and... Was that, this in Limon? Uh, possibly. I don't remember. I think we got so penis it's... pasta while we were there as well. Um, so it... essentially this is a liqueur which has been infused with olives. Thoughts. It's, it, to me, it's the I'm wrong, quite excited to try this one. To me, it's the wrong colour. It's not nothing shouting olives. I was, you know, black olives. But even black olives, are, I don't know. So I think let's have some neat. Yeah. And then. Should we measure it out? Put it into our alcohol sample glasses. Our miniature miniature pint glasses. So, do you think this is going to smell of olives? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Okay. There is, there is an olivey. Yeah. So how much do we 25. want? We're going for a full shot. Oh, right, okay. There's 50 in a bottle, so. 25. I think there's more than that. I know it sounds silly. Oops, don't you have half of the bottle in there? Is that 25? That is 25. Mm. So how much is left? I'd say more than 25. It definitely says 50 centilitres on the bottle. Yeah, split it between us. Well, I was wondering, do we want to try this neat, and then do we want to go with it? Mm, yeah, okay. We'll just we'll just stick that there for now. Um, I can smell rum. <coughs> it's very strong. It's forty percent by volume, according to the label. <laughs> wow, that's that that's warming. Oh. I'm getting it's got a very funky taste to it, and I'm, I think that might be the olive. No, I'm getting licorice. Licorice. And rum. Raisins. Well, it's got grapes in it, so. Oh, so that might be, yeah. Yeah, the base of the liqueur has got grapes in it. Hmm, I think it's going to be better with tonic in it. Quite like that, though. <laughs> <coughs> it is quite. <laughs> that was it. It's quite burning. Probably don't need much. Yeah, we've not added very much tonic to that. I don't know if tonic, I don't know if tonic's the right mixer. It's not bad actually. Do we need something like Coke? I prefer it without. <laughs> you don't like tonic though. I'm not. Well, shall I go and get a can of Coke? I mean, we've got enough to... I mean, it's... Yeah, if you divide that, I'll go and get a can of coke. And if I can think of any other mixers while we're along the way... 
I mean, I'm not getting olive. How much have we got in here? 20 mils. So what was that? That was 70 mils. 70? Yeah. The duffet has 50 on the bone ball. It's very sticky. Yeah, no, we're like a 20. Mm, okay. That is right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Cherry Pepsi. Okay. Probably don't need as much as you. Because I don't like I've got as much. Okay. You need something to take the. There's a really bitter taste to it. Is that the olive? Maybe. Because I'm not getting true olive. Maybe the sweetness of the cherry will... You can definitely still taste it. Because they did bigger, they did larger bottles of this. I'm glad we didn't get one. Do you know what I was, I was about to say? I would consider getting a larger bottle now. Oh, no, this is not for me. This is not good. That's quite nice. It tastes more herbal with, it cher is quite with cherry... Herbally. Cherry so. Pepsi. Now, I'm really surprised at that. Um, I would I would be inclined to get that again. You're not a fan. <laughs> You're really not That's a fan, are not, you? Oh, that is great. No, I quite like that. I think if you were to put any more mixer in it, you wouldn't taste it. Is, is, maybe you've got too much mix, oh, but then you, you, you're not really liking it anyway. No. I, I've been looking forward to this and I have to say I'm bitterly disappointed. Ah, see, I'm not. I'm surprised. Um, I mean, that's got to go in our little collection, isn't it? Of yeah. Of weird and wonderful things. Weird and wonderful things that we've eaten and drank. Yeah. Now, we bought another one, didn't we, that we, for our own personal use. <coughs> That we can try later, maybe. Which one? I don't know, it's pink. It's a little lid. Oh, yeah. I don't I know, know what you mean. I don't know what flavour it is, but. Um, uh, it, orange, I think. Is it? Off the top of my head. I think that's gin. But yeah, I mean, that, I am actually pleasantly surprised. So, olive liqueur for me is a no go. It tastes. There's really funny. After, there's a funny before taste to it as well. Um, it, it's just not quite right. No, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's very strong. <laughs> it, is. it is really quite strong. It, it's that, and it coats your mouth. It's that, yeah. that sort of viscous um, alcohol. But you can see where it's sort of run down. Yeah. Maybe that's the olive oil in it. <laughs> Who knows? But um, yeah, I would definitely say give it a bash. Um, but it's definitely not for you, is it? No, definitely not for me. Okay, so um, yeah, I mean, I am the one to, I have to admit, I am waffling now, I know that. I have to admit though, I don't like olives, but I'll eat them. And people don't seem to, yeah, you, you, no. you don't understand You either that. like it or you don't. If you don't like it, you don't eat it. So. I don't like them, but there's something that makes me come back to them. I mean, you know if I don't like no. something normally, I would not eat it. But it's not for the want of, you know, looking for the cages or mm. whatever. Yeah, no, I don't like olives, but I'll eat them. And I don't know what it is about them. So, um, but yeah, pleasantly surprised on the <coughs> olive liqueur. Um, thanks for watching. Um... If you can think of any other weird and wonderful alcohol, that's always a win. Weird um, and wonderful anything. Well, yes. We'll give most things a go. Um, I think there's, there's still some Marmite ale in the fridge. Yes, we've.
done that one before. Yeah, we've done that one. That was that was a Christmassy one, wasn't it? But that yeah. Was great. Uh, um, we so should should say that we've had a package. We have. We've had a package from somebody who's watching out there with Eastern products. Yes. Mostly Thai. Um, I think there's a Korean one in there. Yeah. But there's a, a box of Asian inspired snacks. Delights. Um, so that will be coming soon. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you can recommend anything else, give us a shout. But yeah, thank you very much for the parcel. We will uh, work our way through that. <laughs> right. If you like this, great. If you didn't, I'm not sorry. I made up. It was a little faddy thing that we found and I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So, um, yeah, I mean, we'll be back next week. Um, bye, love you, bye!